guys. I'm Bree. And I'm Allie. This is Off Script. If you think about it, books are potential scripts for movies. When this adaptation happens, typically it's disappointing because they went off script. In this series, we will be talking about how off script they went. Welcome, everyone. Hello to Off Script. A mini sewed. Yes, finally. I know. <laughs> We're like, you know, it'd be really cool is if we do mini sewds every week. And now it's been, you know, <laughs> two, three two weeks, weeks without it. <laughs> well, well, you know what happened after my birthday week? I got sick <laughs> again. <laughs> and that was not good. <laughs> and then you had packs, so you're swamped with mm-hmm. that. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so give us a whole update. Birthday week, PAX. Birthday week. Game night was fun. Mm-hmm. It was actually really fun. We played a game, Bang Bang. Is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> bang Bang. Remember the one bang, where bang, we bang. had a yeah, sheriff was... and whatever? I think it was Bang Bang Dice or something like that. Oh, yeah. It is a really fun game. Basically, there's outlaws and there's sheriff and deputies and you have to figure out who's who and you're shooting people and trying to hurt. If you're the sheriff, you're trying to hurt the outlaws. And if you're the outlaws, you're trying to hurt the sheriff and the deputies. It was a fun one. Mm-hmm. And then I also, for my birthday, I got three new, bo- four new board games, technically, because I got my Mansions expansion. Yeah, yeah. And then John got me Cthulhu Death May Die, which is basically Mansions, just without mm-hmm. a laptop. I told Allie we should do a mini sort of that and like a YouTube video, because that one you'll actually be able to see. Yeah. And like our failed attempt of... <laughs> YouTube mini for mansions that never got posted. <laughs> but that's a fun one. So much so that freaking the next night John had a dream about playing it. Like John's like, that's my new favorite game. <laughs> I know he kept being like, so rate this. Compare this to mansions. And Brie and I both know that he loves it way more. So we're trying to be nice. We're like, yeah. I mean, we did really like it. Yeah, it was a fun game. And I think now that we know how to play it, it would be better. Yeah. But and he's mansions like, is like out of ten, rate out of ten. And what's mansions at? And we're like <laughs> ten. Uh, we're like mansions is ten. He's like, okay, what, what's this? And we're like, um, we we ended up with eight point five. I think was that, our thing. I think so. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he even did like the mean of like his, mine, and yours. <laughs> and he's like, oh, it's not even over eight. And I was like, okay, I'll I'll change my to eight point <laughs> seven five or something like that. So we got. We got over An eight. Average of nine. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and then I also got, I almost said mansions, Munchkin, which is a mm-hmm. great game if you haven't played it. No, yeah, well, I love that game and I don't have it. That's crazy. It's so fun. It's a fun one. It's really fun. Yeah. And it's like somewhat easy. Like kids could even play. Mm-hmm. Or they probably would rock that game, but it, it'd have to be an appropriate one because they can be inappropriate. Oh, the base game is super inappropriate. Right. I think Which is have. hilarious because, like, uh, I know they have like Nightmare Before Christmas Munchkin and things like that. I know, I like know that. they have like more appropriate ones, but I know that overall it's inappropriate. Yeah, me and Becca, we just played it and she was playing it and she started reading them. And like, one of them is like, you get a horny helmet or something. And like, they're just, or no, the broadsword can only be used by females <laughs> and things oh. like that. And she was like, I played this when I was eight. And all this flew over my head. I was like, yep. Yeah. Well, then maybe it can be played by a <laughs> Yeah. And then I also got a really fun game called Side Effects that I actually that really enjoy. I mm-hmm. want to get expansions for it so that we can get more disorders with it. Basically, you get, you get mental disorders like anxiety, anorexia, madness, depression, suicidal thoughts, impotence. Gambling addiction, tremors, and I think there's one more, but I can't think of what it is. And the whole goal is you're trying to cure yourself of these madnesses. But you can also like when someone puts down their drug for it, you can then give them a new disorder. Because drugs have side effects. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) And that one's really fun. I really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And so game night was a blast because you know you got a good uh, strategy games Mm -hmm. and a good. It's quick party games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good quick party games that are like 
also strategy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of, I have my uh, friend, Justin, wants to join us for game nights. Because he's like, I've been wanting to, like, I could tell I should have asked him way long ago. He's like, well, what type of game nights do you do? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you're like, you're not invited. <laughs> I'm going to make you ask. To be but then invited. I was like, Ugh, we'll figure it out. But uh, he likes more strategy games too. So I'm like, I'm good. You'll be set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I went to Mariners games and the Mariners ended up winning the whole, like they won the first night, lost the second night, won my birthday. Nice. Yeah. I was like, way to go M's. Thanks. And then we went to the concert, me, John, my cousin, and her boyfriend. And that was really fun, too. <laughs> I'm like, what else do I say about that? You had a very eventful birthday. Very eventful birthday. And I never thought that I would walk as far as I've done now all over Seattle. Because me and John, we would park, like, John parked my birthday over by like the convention center and then walked over to the stadium. Mm -hmm. He dropped me. But then after the game, me, him and Becca walked to the cheesecake factory by the convention center for my birthday dinner with everyone. Mm. So that was like a 20 minute walk. And then PAX weekend. Oh yeah. We got the Metallica concert tickets and we were like, well, we're not going to move the car because we have parking until midnight here anyway. And it was like 12 bucks. So nice. Yeah. So we're going to walk it again. <laughs> I've never walked so much in my life. Got your steps in. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Especially PAX sucked because I had already been on my feet all day. So my legs and feet were like, John had to deal with cranky breathing. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was not happy. <laughs> but um, yeah. So then how about PAX? At PAX? Well, you found out that I I got to go to Metallica. First, tell people what PAX is, because I didn't know until you explained what it was to me. Oh. I know it's a huge, everybody knows, but it's not like Comic-Con where it's like obvious. I mean, maybe it is, but it wasn't to me. Like, you want me to explain the... Just what is it in general? Oh, I thought you wanted Penny Arcade something. I think oh. that's the experience. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, it is a video game board game convention. That's basically Comic-Con for video games and board games. Mm-hmm. And so a bunch of video games and board game creators go and showcase their video games or board games. And this could be independent people to people that you know and love. Like John and I got to play a demo for Path of Exile 2, which is coming out, which is a very well-known game on Steam. But then we also found a video game that I always want to say is chaos, but it's not chaos. It's like Kronos event, I think. And it looks really cool. It's like Portal mixed with a shooter game <laughs> mixed with a bunch of other stuff. But it's really fun. And it's the same with board games, too. There's games that you would know and games that you wouldn't know. And you just go and play games, go and look at vendors, go. You can buy stuff from them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I got to demo. Oh, my God. I have told you about Slay the Spire, mm-hmm. my like video game. That's a card game. Mm-hmm. They had the board game there to Ooh. demo and you could have bought it there, but they sold out. Wow. Like By the time we found them, they had sold out. Wow. And I was like, damn it. But we got to demo it. And oh, my God, I cannot wait. It, it's super. It's one hundred and seventy dollars at PAX oh my God. and almost two hundred dollars not at PAX. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's an expensive board game, but it plays exactly like the video game, except for it's all co-op. And so like in the video game, you choose your character and then you're basically crawling through a dungeon and you have your map and you get to pick which like dungeon you're going into and that's exactly how the game works. But then like once you're all in your dungeons, you each get monsters that you're fighting, but everyone can help each other out and fight each other's monsters. So it was amazing. It was really cool. I'm excited for that game. And John playing it now, he was like, oh, yeah, that's actually like, that's a good one. And I was like, I think so. <laughs> oh, you're real lucky that John likes games so much. Did he before? What's funny is he likes them, but he doesn't that much. 
I would not know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He always seems so into it every time. And then he goes to PAX. Mm-hmm. He goes because he enjoys, like, he enjoys seeing it all. Oh. He enjoys video games. But, again, he, like, he's the kind of gamer where he'll get one video game and focus on that. And mm. until That's he's me. beat it. <laughs> and then he moves on to the next one. And, you know, I'm all for beating the video game. But, like, I don't get, like, him in that aspect. But also, like, when he and I sit down to play one of our video games together, he's done after, like, an hour. He doesn't want to continue. But he'll continue because he knows I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so, Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, he's a gamer. I think he's become more of a long time, like, I'll sit and play for hours and hours gamer. But that's why at our game nights, he always brings, like, the other games because yeah. those are the games that he thrives on yeah ironically we should probably play some of those Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know i always feel bad i'm always like sorry we love this game and right to play this. <laughs> uh, so yeah so that was pax and i also got to demo little nightmares 3 which made me so excited i didn't even know there was a third one coming out but the first two are great. It's a little horror video game, but you play as a little kid running through and it's like two. It's not two, three. Well, two D. <laughs> I was like, is that a it's not two, three. Is that a video game reference? I don't know. No, I was going to say a two D scroller because it's okay. a scroller, but it's three D scroller. OK. And so you, you know, it's not open world. So you're not running around a map. You only go from left to right yeah. on your screen and scary stuff happens to you and i didn't get to actually no i did get to the scary stuff in the game mm. i thought it was a giant's hand and then after the demo i realized it was a porcelain baby doll's hand oh, <laughs> i was like oh that's gonna be a creepy video game <laughs> <laughs> i was like now i know <laughs> but yeah cool. so did you guys get any new games no wow we actually didn't buy anything there i bought a premium mystery dice thing because mm-hmm. i want more dice now that we're starting this D right. campaign and i tried to convince john to because mm-hmm. he has yet to experience a nat one being rolled on his d20 <laughs> and i was like he was rolling oh i haven't explained this on here we started a new D campaign with a new group of people and it was just this weekend that we had our first session and he was rolling low and I was like, this is why you need another dice set. <laughs> and he was like, no, no. As I'm sitting here, I rolled four nat ones. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, great. <laughs> this is what I wanted. <laughs> That's how you die. <laughs> yes. And I'm like going through all my different dice. <laughs> like, oh, you just rolled me a nat one. I got to get rid of you. Oh. <laughs> but that was the only thing we bought there. And then we put a lot of video games into our wish list. Mm. So games that we'll end up buying. But yeah, yeah, because they weren't released. That's cool. Mm -hmm. There's a Corgi game I think you would like. Mm -hmm. Probably. It was like, what was it? Corgi's little hike or something. You just (laughs) run around and you're this dog. You can even poop. You can poop and then eat it. (laughs) Is that a video game? Yes. Is it out right now? Oh, uh, what system? Uh, just, just PC. I, I'll have to look into it a little bit oh more my for gosh. you. I would. I, I would got a it. ribbon from it because I played their demo there. It's literally the ribbon says "Corgi Butt Power." <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> that sounds yes. awesome. Yes, <laughs> like <laughs> the cats are kind of like bad guys, but you learn you get the power to teach them that no we're all good people (laughs) we're all good pets it's okay yeah (laughs) it was hilarious it's funny yeah so that was fun cool and then just this so my family what we always do for our birthdays is we always have a family dinner and we get like ice cream cakes for each person my mom started this tradition with becca's birthday and she got baskin robbins cakes she did baskin robbins twice in a row then we did Menchie's for actually we did Dairy Queen for John, and then Menchie's for David. And Menchie's has the best birthday cake ever. Oh my gosh, it does. That's what I think we yeah, we got that for Tyler. <gasps> the whipped cream so frosting. God. Holy crap. Yep. 
So I told my mom, I was like, mom, I want a Menchie's birthday cake. Like, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. Like, I want that frosting. I told her the flavors that I wanted and everything. The day came. My mom forgot to get the cake. Oh, no. But could she run in and just get the already pre-made one? Well, it was or it was like way too late. Oh. Like we were cooking dinner and I think David was going to get ice for a drink and he opened and was like, Ooh, look at all this ice cream. And mom was like, Yeah, that's dessert. And I was like, and I like looked in the freezer to see if there was a cake. And then I looked at her and I was like, Menchie's cake? And she was like, I didn't know you wanted that. Oh, I was like, no. Yes, mom I did. She's like, I didn't realize. I was like, Mom. Okay, this was cool. your tradition. We yeah. started. I was like, "Great, just skip over your own kids." <laughs> like, cool. <laughs> got it for everyone else. <laughs> yes, I was like, "Thanks." <laughs> so, like, I go out because we're all outside eating our dinner. Guess who ran to QFC? David, John, John mm-hmm. to get you a mm-hmm. ice cream cake. Mm-hmm. They sell them at QFC. Mm-hmm. Ice cream cake. Reese's ice cream cake. Wow, it was really good. But yeah, he like he was hanging out eating dinner with me and then found out after the fact that he ran inside and was like, should I go buy her a cake? And my mom was like, no, she said she'll wait until next month. We can do her Menchie's cake next month. And he was like, yeah, but she was kind of looking forward to that. Maybe I, I could just go really quick. Aww. And my mom was like, no, it's too far. And he was like, no, just to QFC. I bet they have something. <laughs> He's a keeper. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, there's that. <laughs> That's good. Mm-hmm. And that about sums up my birthday week and PAX weekend. That's cool. And that's why we were not <clears throat> with y'all. Mm-hmm. We were busy. And then school was starting on my end. So, I was like, oh, I guess I'm not. I also didn't explain. Oh, my God. I did not explain the stress of almost missing PAX. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because Thursday night... John and I went to see a movie because I always do a movie for my birthday. And so I was like, we got to go. No, I think it was Wednesday because Thursday we were supposed to do the escape room. Oh, oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So Wednesday night we went and saw the movie and I'm actually really bummed because it was a movie I was like really excited for. And like 10 minutes into the movie, I could tell something was up. I was like. My body does not feel good. Like, I don't know what's going on. (laughs) Like, I had aches. I, like, I almost felt like I was trying to throw up, but not. Mm -hmm. And it was just, I was like, this is not great. And, like, I also had a headache that just was killing me. And I was like, okay, watch the movie. Pay attention to the movie. Watch the movie. Pay attention to the movie. (laughs) And. What movie was it? Borderlands. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. And I was super excited. I enjoyed what I could pay attention to. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> and then, like, John, after the movie, he wanted to see if there was a credit scene. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't know, and I was going to Google, and he was like, we could just sit here and wait. But we had already stood up to leave, and I had to sit back down. I was like, I can't. I gotta sit back down. Oh, my gosh. And John's like... Because at this point, I was not telling him that I wasn't feeling okay. Because I was like, I don't know. It might just be period stuff. It might be like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. So then we're getting ready to head out. And I was, we had drove separately to the movie, but we were going back to his place. And he hadn't grocery shopped in a long time. And he knew that there was no other time he could. So he was like, let's go to Winco right now. Like, mm-hmm. meet me at Winco and then we'll go home. I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I get in the car and I was like, oh boy, something. <laughs> I'm not feeling great. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We get to Winco and I have a jacket on and I have my hands covered and like put together and I have my hood up and I am shivering. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm sick. But I didn't tell him <laughs> until after an, we shopped for an hour. <laughs> And then we get in our cars to go back to his place and I get to his place and I didn't tell him because he would be like, don't come to my house. Uh, Part of me was worried, but I also I didn't go into his house yet. I was like, he might send me home because he's Mr. Germaphobe. Yeah. So if he wants to, 
all led him. But I just like, I didn't want to ruin our weekend. I knew that we had wild waves coming up. We were trying to go to PAX and I was like, if I'm as sick as I think I am, we're not doing any of this. Right. So I'm sitting in my car still and John comes over and I open the car door and he's like, what's going on? And I was like, I'm sick. I'm sick. Like, I don't feel good. Something is wrong. I feel like I have a fever. And he like, he put his hand on my forehead and he was like, you don't feel too bad to me. And I was like, I'm sick. Trust me, I'm sick. And then I was like, do you want me to go home or like what? And he was like, well, I've already been hanging out with you. Like, just stay. I was like, okay. And he wanted me to sleep with a mask on. (laughs) I'd be like, dude, I'll go home then. I literally, I was like, I'll just sleep with my back to you. (laughs) Like, I can't say that I'll stay that way the whole time. But Uh, So then um, I went to try and help him with the groceries. And he was like, no, just go inside. Take your temp. Went in, took my temp. (laughs) 100.3. I was like, yeah, I'm sick. So then John immediately was like, have some NyQuil. Here's some water. Go to bed. Aww. I was like, okay. And I'm like worried. I told him like right when I got out of my car, I had started crying because I was like, I'm ruining our weekend. I don't know. We're not going to go to Wild Waves and I want to go to bed. <laughs> he was like, you don't know. We'll see how you feel. And so I slept all night and I slept in Thursday. We were supposed to do our escape room. But I woke up and I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I could tell when I woke up that I didn't have a fever anymore, but I was still feeling like, I was like, oh my God. And now, as you can hear, I'm still very congested. It doesn't sound as bad as you think it sounds. Oh, thank God. (laughs) Because it feels as bad as it felt last week or how long ago it was. Yeah. Um, Like to the point, John got me Flonase Mm -hmm. PAX weekend Mm -hmm. or not Flonase. It was like off brand. And it's also not Flonase because it's the opposite drug that's in nasal spray there's two different drugs that work really well Mm -hmm. and we had the concert and he was like we're gonna drink but you can't drink with this (laughs) and so but honestly oh my god it's the only thing that allows me to breathe (laughs) dude i love my nose spray when i'm sick Mm -hmm. it's a miracle Mm -hmm. drug i found out from my naturopath though that if you freaking use it too much it then just creates your nose will just be congested forever. Oh. So I'm worried that I'm at that point because I was using it every day. (laughs) Well, I think it's like you probably have like a week window or two week window. Mm -hmm. If you go over that, then it makes sense. Yeah. No, I've started to like eat like today. I have not used it once. Okay. Um, But yeah. So then I woke up Thursday, canceled plans with Allie, laid in bed. Did nothing but laid in bed. Because we were supposed to record our mini so that mm-hmm. night mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. our escape, escape room. room. Yeah. And I was like, oof. I edited for Lady Preacher because I hadn't yet. And I was like, I don't know when I'm going to if I do everything I'm supposed to do this weekend. And I was like, that I can do in bed. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I laid in bed. I moved to John's couch to play video games. Then went back to bed. And then we woke up Friday and he was like, how do you feel? And I was like, what did I do Friday morning? Oh, I went back to my place because my parents were out of town. And so I went back to my place and he was like, how do you feel? Are we doing wild waves today? I was like, honestly, I feel loads better. Like I'm Mm -hmm. like yesterday I laid and did nothing all day. And like morning I was sick, but as the day went on, I was like, oh, I'm fine. Like, mm-hmm, what mm-hmm. the hell was that? <laughs> and so it's your body like, being like, you did too freaking much for your birthday. <laughs> That's Chill exactly out. it. And now you're doing too much this weekend. <laughs> so, yeah. So then I uh, we went to Wild Waves and I handled that. So then I told him, I was like, yeah, I can do packs. Packs is a go. But then he didn't buy them until Wild Waves and they went up. Like, I think they only went up seven bucks. Mm. He determined, but it was oh, pack tickets. Mm-hmm. So for next year, if you want to go, buy them before <laughs> the weekend. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and John did the timber axe. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're over here like, I don't like to do rides that much anymore. And then you're doing the timber axe. Oh my gosh. I do. I love rides. <laughs> What are you telling me at the fair? I, I don't do the spinny rides anymore. The timber axe is a spinny ride. It's a vertical spinny ride. Yeah, but it's so slow. It doesn't like make me dizzy. And then you go the oh, other way. Oh, gosh. It makes me nauseous. <laughs> no. Dude. Okay. If you want to put it into perspective, right? Yeah. Because Brie was saying that she wants to go to the fair. And I was like, you got to get John to go to the fair because I don't do rides anymore. Uh, I, you know, bought my kids dizzy passes and we yeah. just were in Sillyville all day. Well, it was like the last ride and it was basically the shooting star, but oh, yeah, for yeah. kids, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little, little fire truck. Mm -hmm. And I went to go buckle Tyler in and the lady was like, you can ride if you want. And I was like, oh, wow, thanks. Because, you know, freaking fair is like, you can't even ride with your kids if you don't have a dizzy pass yeah. or, or a tickets. So it's like, okay, sure. Oh my gosh, that made my stomach like, <laughs> oh no. So I was like, if I went with you, I would have known that I wasn't doing rides. Okay. So I wouldn't have been like, oh, bummer. <laughs> I would have been like, cool, I get to just experience the fair. Okay. But John and I have a day planned. So. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, oh, I feel real bad. <laughs> no. But no. <laughs> no, I just want the scone. That's all I want. Dude. Yeah, my kids almost were like, like, we want, so we went, um, and every other district was in school, right? So it was like mm -hmm. perfect day mm -hmm. minus the freaking 90 degrees. But so you walk in, and, you know, they have the fair scone spots all over the place. Mm -hmm. But there are always like freaking massive lines. Yes. Everyone we went to, there was no line. I was like, you guys, we need to get because I didn't think the next one would be the same. I was mm -hmm. like, we should get our scones now. And they're like, no, not yet. And I was like, ah. so then we went and I was like, oh, we got to get we got to get them now. now. No, not yet. I was like, oh my gosh. So eventually we got them. But I was like, ah, that's too close. No, every time I see that line, not no one's in it, I go. Yes. Like, yep. That's that's my cue. Oh my gosh. So mm -hmm. no, we're going on Wednesday. So I'm hoping it'll be. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. We almost went on Wednesday because that's kids bot. But we are not going to go this year. Uh, yeah. So you'll have a lot of kids. No, not this week, right? At the 11th. We're going the 18th. I'm going the 18th. Oh, you are? Mom and I are seeing Alabama that day. Oh, Alabama's playing? Yeah. <gasps> oh, shit. I know. I should have me and John just stand outside of the grandstands <laughs> and listen. Because they play some of my favorite songs. <laughs> yeah. They got, uh, let's see. Can you keep a good band down? What's another one they do really good? Dixie Didn't Land Delight. How come you're not singing the ones that I know? Because <laughs> my brain is not working right now. Five o'clock, five hundred. <laughs> Um, I know I'm about to. <laughs> I'm gonna find the songs I know. I'm in a hurry to get things done. Oh, I rush and rush into the last. That's the one. No That's the one. Yeah. Yes, I love that song. I was like, I know there's one that I know she knows. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> that's. The one. I think there's another one too, but that's yes. the one that I really like. <laughs> they got they got some good ones. So yeah, yeah they're gonna. Be, so we're going. Oh, hey, the 18th. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you should let us know when you get there. Okay, because I, our plan is to be there all day. Okay. Well, we're yeah. probably just going for the concert and yeah. maybe a little bit nightlife after. But. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. My favorite is John tells me, did I tell you that when I first started talking to John, he told me that he hated drop rides and yeah. so would never do them. And then when we went to the fair, I did not once say we should do the extreme scream because after you and I did it that once, I was like, I'm good. I don't have to do it. I again. love the extreme scream. <laughs> That's a girl who's like, I can't do right. Well, I mean, I haven't done it since then, but I had so much fun with it. It was a blast. But then we were like, it was towards. No, I think we did it first in the middle of the day because the line was short and he was like, should we do the extreme scream? And I was like, well, our dizzy passes won't get us on it. And he was like, do you want to do the extreme scream? I was like, if you want to, I'll do it. But like, right. I've done it before. I'm good. <laughs> like in my head, I'm like, I don't want to experience that fear again. <laughs> and then next thing I know, he's buying us tickets for it. And then we have a bunch of tickets left over and we do it once. I think we did it twice that time. Like, we got off and he was like, ooh, we should do it again. I was like, what the? Who are you? 
So wait, okay, you guys had dizzy passes. Mm-hmm. So for those that don't know, the Washington State Fair, they are their bracelets that let you do all the right or almost all the rights. Mm-hmm. And so because the tickets are ridiculous. It's like every mm-hmm. ride is at least 10 tickets now, if not more. And then it's like for 120 tickets, it's $65. Mm-hmm. But Dizzy Passes are $55. Mm-hmm. Actually, they might be more on weekends. Oh, you, they don't sell them on weekends, do they? No. Do you also have PTA access? I'm getting them for cheap. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. It's like $10 cheaper. What? Mm-hmm. Just to say you're a PTA member? Or how? It's the, the Puyallup PTA has a website that oh, has well, discounts for stuff. It's Puyallup. Well, they have a bunch of discounts for other stuff oh, do that they? aren't. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you should look into that. I should that. look into that. Yeah. Because yes. mom was like, make sure you get your Dizzy Pass and your tickets through here. Because cool. it's like $10 cheaper. <sighs> hmm But anyways, so... I don't remember what I was doing with that. That's what Dizzy Pass is. Oh. I was saying how John bought the tickets for... Yeah, okay. So you guys had your Dizzy Pass. Why did he buy so many tickets if you already had Dizzy Passes? You know, John. <laughs> we sat there for like... We sat in front of the ticket booth in by the extreme screen for like 20 minutes. Then we started walking, did a ride or two, went to another booth because he had sat there and thought about it. He is all for like what's like what makes my money worth it. Yeah. He found out that like one of the larger ones, you're saving so much money by doing it or so. I don't remember how he mathed it, but he mathed it and he picked that one. And he was like, we could do like, we can do some of the games and things mm-hmm. like that. And like, we walked around and looked at the games. I think he tried to do a few of them. And last year, there were no games that I wanted to play. I was like, they got rid of all the ones that I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. And I'm not, I'm not a teenager anymore. So I don't want to do the one where I throw a dart and get a poster. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the only one I ever liked when I was a kid. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> so... Then by the end of the night, we had quite a bit left. And next thing I know, we're doing the extreme scream three times over. (laughs) I was like, (laughs) you told me you didn't like drop rides. And now when we go to Wild Waves, he always wants to do the brain drop. (laughs) Uh Which is a baby extreme scream. Such a bait. It's like. Not even a third of the size of the extreme scream. Oh my gosh. So oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, good. I'm glad you guys are going. Me too. Okay, I'm glad. Cool. Mm-hmm. cool. All right. Well, God, that was a lot of me talking. That's okay because <laughs> I always talk during episodes that so you can you take over the mini sodes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys, don't you miss us? Mm-hmm. All right. Well. If you have any questions for us or anything to make the next minisode more fun, send them our way. We would love to answer your questions. Mm-hmm, definitely. Or talk to you. Yeah. In some aspect. I know. So some, some, t- some we're going to figure out how we can get live questions. Mm-hmm. We, we, we would have to record not at night. Yeah. Because <laughs> we'd have to actually phone call you guys and you call or you call us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> just messes with our system yeah so unless y'all want to stay up for us (laughs) probably not it's hard i had to take a nap tonight (laughs) it's that late nine o'clock i know i know i was i have not been getting sleep (laughs) cue the yawn (laughs) because uh i've been waking up super early the last few days because i had a video thing i had to do in vashon i had church Mm -hmm. and we have two services now so we start a whole hour earlier now Uh and i just haven't been getting good sleep and i'm like oh man oh and then i had a freaking car appointment today oh yeah i'm planning on sleeping in tomorrow lucky Mm -hmm. i now have children in school so i cannot but not that i have been sleeping in as much as i could anyways because they've been like waking me up early and everything i'm like you guys my alarm has not gone off yet <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> Ugh. but then it's like i'm like super excited because now that school started they're asleep like in bed by eight mm-hmm. so i'm like that's four hours 
before my bedtime. Like I make myself go to bed by midnight. Like so that's, that's four, four episodes of magician. Exactly. <laughs> but I've been freaking passing out. <laughs> so I can't. Like I'll watch like an episode and a half and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> no, I need to watch. Like I would be done if maybe, I could just get my maybe. crap together. <laughs> I'm so close, you guys. So close. Ah. <laughs> As I yawn again. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right. All right, you guys. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> we need to stay tuned for Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> We've sure. Got... We can do that. <laughs> We've got Red Dragon. Um, Sure. Coming out for you. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Because mm-hmm. this comes out this week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. yes. Red Dragon. If not, that's actually a fun one. <laughs> I like that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just listened to it to prep for it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it turned out very good. I think so. Come listen. Yeah. <laughs> Find right. out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. Thanks for sticking with us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we would greatly appreciate it if you gave us five beautiful stars, reviewed, and subscribed. You can also follow us on Facebook at Offscript, on Instagram at Offscript Podcast 21, and on TikTok at Offscript underscore pod. Shout outs to Madame Michelle Creations for our adorable logo art. And Adam Daniel for our incredible theme song. And to Creative Cinephile Productions for producing our podcast. See, See you, you next, next time. time.